Hi, it's Rosalie with Can't Wait to Plan. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for stopping back by and check out my channel. Okay, so I know that I'm not so popular with my card um, making videos with at least my viewers, but you know, I've actually been making a lot for clients and stuff. And this particular one, <clears throat> I wasn't even going to video it because it was sort of a rush project for a client um, that uh, whose mother-in-law is turning 90 um, and the birthday celebration is coming up in a few days. So I didn't really have time to do a process video, but after I finish it, I thought that some of the things that I learned in using um, this particular die from Anna Griffin was worthwhile to mention so that in case you are thinking about using it or doing something similar, maybe you can find this particular hack useful. So in any case, um, my uh, client mother-in-law loved ballroom dancing. And so we I took that into the theme and she also loved um, kind of like a, a royal blue and uh, gold, um, yellow gold or whatever. <clears throat> so I took the, the opportunity to use my Anna Griffin ballroom slider dies, which I got a, a while back, but um, I never had a chance to use it or even try it out. So that's why I was talking about uh, learning learn lessons um, because this was my first time using it um, by the way if you're interested um, she's uh, she still Anna Griffin still have it on her website and it's on sale um, this week for at $27 which is from a discount of like $45 or something like that so in case you're interested but it's super sweet um, it actually make a, um, a a folded card but it's 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 sort of funny because you would make two of these. This would be the front and the back. So you see how you perforate it, not perforate it, but you fold these, they're score already, and you glue them together. But you see the this is a, a cut, a hold here, and you would put your dancers or your, it's a swivel, um, it, it animated, it's really cute. You'll see it in a second. So you would have this person here or the ballet dancers, and there's a pull tab right there where the, the cut line is right here. And you would pull and they would they would swivel. Yeah. And um, so they they keep this this uh, window open on both sides. Um, but it's not really a card because where do you put the sentiment? There's there's no back, there's no side, there's nothing. So um, after I I created it. I had to come up with a an idea. It actually comes with uh, draperies on the side too that you can, you know, um, uh, what do you call it? You can um, layer it to make it nice and three dimensional. It has the ballet tutu and the dress for the for the for the ladies. Um, it does not have a suit for the man, but it's. I don't think it's super hard to do that if you wanted to to splice that in. It even have a valance, and that's the pull tab. Okay, so. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I did afterwards, but um, the key part for choosing papers for this collection or for this card is the key was the blue. The, this blue is not very common. It's, I know it's a it's mirror and it's kind of hard to see, but it's a royal blue. It's absolutely stunning. It comes from the um, emboss mirror card swirl, mirror swirl from Hunky Dory. Um, it came with three of each sheet, each color, and they come in all these colors. I just got it recently, really inexpensively. So I was so happy to have found that. It coordinated perfectly also with their uh, diamond sparkle or their rhinestones. And that blue is the exact blue of this. So I use some of that, of course, to embellish. Um, so starting with that, I was so happy to find it because I literally have tons of mirror card, um, none of which was that correct blue. Um, I know that she likes uh, something a little bit um, darker than this. This this is more yellow than gold. This is from the Anna Griffin cake um, collection. That's to go with the the cake pop up um, pop up uh, die or whatever. But it's really I thought it was really pretty. And with these fringe thingy thing here, I thought it would make um, some interesting. Um, 
mm, some interesting effects on the draperies and things. So that's what I picked. It's double-sided, but not. I don't really need that. Um, I did pick this beautiful gold that I thought goes well with the royal blue, um, which is here. I put it away because it's so shiny. Um, and this is from Park Lane Glitzy Glitter Paper Pack um, that I got a while back. It's not great to... Um, to die cut with you have to really you have to kind of trim it out with your scissors because it it does have that coating because the reason why it doesn't shed is it has a a plastic coating on top of the of the paper so that the glitter don't come off and things like that um for the packaging i found i found this i i didn't have any more of this um but i had a box a already made box that happened to fit the card because the card came out quite chunky and <laughs> it's more like a present so I just want and she loved roses um so I picked a, a yellow roses for the packaging I'll show you that in a second that's I have no idea it's just in my stash it's a thin paper but I didn't really need anything thicker because I just wanted to cover um the front panel of the box and uh, and then the other thing that I wanted to use was something for the dress um and the background of the of the of the um of the card because this was just to make to make the ballroom slider part but i wanted some other background and i got this pa pattern pack from the hunky dory recently too called honey meadow it is so cute you get 24 um three sheets of each pattern of eight pattern and um i in case you didn't see it these are they're single-sided they're very nice and thick it's like 300 gsm and so most of it is more bee related i love this one i'm going to fussy cut these out but two of them were like this which i absolutely love um i wanted to use the dress out of this because it has speckle of the gold and i'll, I'll share with you why that makes sense for the dress um and part of the background in the front and then this one was more the inside of the card okay so anyway that's all the paper that we chipped all right so let me show you the card real quick okay so <laughs> major duty right so here you can see i use um so after i cut out the the two piece um I didn't, I didn't, wasn't quite sure exactly what I was gonna do. So I still use the good paper for the back, uh, even though you don't really see it. Actually, you do see it, no, no you, you don't really see it. Um, and so on, but I use, I cut this part out of both the, the cake paper, and then I cut out the, um, let me show you on the side. So I cut this out of that light yellow, or the yellow cake paper. Um, two piece then I cut um, that came with the side as well yeah so I do need the, the same material and then I cut the valance or the drapery this this right here out of um, four times oh, well they, they have a right and a left so I got to get two of each and then I did two of the blue um, the mirror card blue and two of the gold glitter to layer to give that nice effect you see how pretty that looks on the background there and then, um, so that's basically what I did there. So after I put it together, I did the, I did the, the people or the, the main die out of, um, just matte mirror card from, um, Anna Griffin. She has a really nice, um, matte gold mirror, um, mirror card. So I did that. And then for, at, at the end, I chose differently for the, for the dress. Originally, I was going to use that pretty, uh, sky paper with the gold glitter uh, dots but after I put it together it didn't it wasn't striking enough so I took just a piece of scrap paper of that same um, royal blue mirror card and I made the I cut out the top again so I just put a small piece right there and cut that out I put a small piece of the gold glitter right there at the belt and cut that out so I, there's different pieces that I can layer on top and then the dress I just sort of fussy cut out a you know kind of a not right not triangle a little bit with the sway actually i do have a piece as a as a sample where was it at um so i cut out something like this let me see 
I did, I did save it. Where did I put it? Oh, here. Um, so you just, I just kind of just hand drawn and make sure that it covers because her, you see her, her little flip of the dress stick out there. So it's not like a, it's not a symmetrical piece of, um, of material. So I just kind of, um, uh, what's the word? Hand, not freehand the a template to make sure that it covers. Okay, so like something like that. And then I had in my stash, I had a couple of things that I got from, um, this was Hobby Lobby. The gold one is from somewhere else, but it was really a good sales. This was some tools that was like, isn't that stunning? It's like perfect match with the blue that she likes. So I got that. I just put, um, I I did two, uh, four layers of this one and then four layers of the gold. And I just lay them alternate, alternatively. So like the blue first, then gold, then blue, then gold. So four layers of that and four layers of that. So the four layers is for the front of the person. And then on the back, I cut the, I put together the other four layers and I just hot glue it to the um to the skirt area and then uh put the um put the belt the glitter belt right smack in the middle right there okay glue it up, that on top actually i put the the bodice the the top first then the then the skirt then the belt so pretty right then i put a little um rhinestone right on, on her bun like she's having some kind of pin right there okay and so i'm saving this just because it covers the thing nicely so in case later on i would need it right is that so pretty yeah i like it okay so now you see that and then also for me to pull this and i i did it a little bit a little bit uh wrong but it's it was okay i had the the people the, this thing's supposed to be in this position when they're in the right material because you want to, to double-side them. Um, and to double-side them, you kind of have to do the die in the in the wrong direction, which means that even though you have the gold, it's just not a very pretty gold. You see how it's not really embossed the right way? So in this position in the in where the pull tab is in, that's when they're supposed to be pretty. And when it's out, supposed to be the reverse. But... I did it wrong so now it has to stick out like this when in the right position and then you just move isn't that so cool oops sorry i just i just hit the um the camera so um so then i embellish it with these are um from uh, anna griffin what is it called um the mini mini birthday stickers she had these really cute cake and balloons and stuff so i picked the the gold um, uh, champagne bottle and the thing and the flask and then in the oops let me put this down so heavy and in the so they have it with cake let's see with these cakes and these cakes it came in a little thing like this um and then it came with balloons these are the one i use but it came also with other colored balloons as well and then presents I still haven't used any of the present today. I finally used this one. So this one is on the inside. Okay. So that's that's um, all the embellishment that I use except a couple more. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, this was from one of the um, sentiment sticker set or going out of car kit. I can't remember which one now. But it was in the wrong blue. It's a lighter blue. So um, I took a... Um, Archer and Olive paint pens that I got recently um, in the same blue. And I didn't want to co color the whole thing because I think it looks sloppy. So I just took it and brushed on the outside um, just to have the, the right tone of blue on there. And um, then I use um, these stickers from, this was from We Are Memory Key, no, is that, uh, no, Diamond Press. They had a, a, a stack of um, alphabet sticker in different colors in a binder, a small binder like this. And they had it on sale on HSN a while back last year. So I picked up one of uh, several of these and I finally got, had a chance to use it. And it's so pretty because it's really tiny, which works really well for this because I just put 90 right there. 
okay and then i add a couple more uh, rhinestone here on the label now on here these are um anna griffin also sell these uh, gold and silver flourishes so these you can do anything they're just headers they, they come with a lot of pretty one and this one i decided to i, I did a double sided because you can see it on the oh no i didn't um i actually put another piece of paper so it's more sturdy and i add it to here and i'll show you how, how i did the back in a second and then on the bottom here before i added the um, champagne bottle i did find another one that i thought was really pretty so i i foam foam padded this and put that on top here okay um now none of the curtains i put foam tape because um the three layer i put foam tape after the after the whole thing to layer on top of here but not before that and same thing with this this i did i did um foam tape just to the, the top so what i found was when these were pleated um it was hard for me to i did this uh, double-sided too with two two i cut out this twice just because it didn't feel like it's sturdy enough and with these pleated um this thing i i really had a hard time holding it to to move this it kept slipping and stuff so at the end i don't know if you can see it i actually added um a thin strip of um cardboard that i cut out of shipping box just and i i trimmed it all around the whole thing i did it also for the bottom and then in the middle this part here i just add an extra piece of cardstock um just to firm it up so now it's really truly a box it's not foldable because i didn't want it foldable and now it's really simple for me to move this okay because i just really didn't like the fact that it was really weird you if you make one you'll see what i mean but um i love it like that and then because i didn't use there were so many of the large pieces i used these these foam um foam uh, pass, uh, sheets from that you buy from wherever walmart hobby lobby and stuff um they, of course they didn't have i didn't have any more white and the gold the yellow i had is a weird yellow so when i added some of these on the side it sort of looks really bad especially the top so i you know of course with the with the enforcement of the chip of, of the shipping box too so um i decided to take a piece and cover the whole thing with it and i'll tell you why i did that in the secondly too um and i did the same for the for the bottom i should have flipped it inside and out to make it match that but anyway um because i thought that i maybe see it from here but i didn't this this should have been better that way okay so then to combat the fact that i have to have some room in order to turn these this um this people the dress kept getting caught next time i'm going to make the dress a little bit shorter or get um stick these guys they have a little stick where you glue it inside um stick them not so low down I, I, you know not here but more leave it up a little bit so the dress can flow uh, more more freely um i took uh, i just took the dimension and now i did not realize i did a five by seven box um the the die i had was a 0.375 thick and i didn't realize that that was not enough because i never made this before that i needed actually um more like double that um more like point um point eight or it was like point seven five but i really um next time i do it i'm actually going to make it point eight five or something like that and just make one box instead of two boxes and then i have to glue it together okay so i just made a shadow box with the border and after i made it i realized that the, the actual card is not five by seven which is unusual for anna griffin because she usually make five by seven greeting cards so i was a little bit bummed because you see how it's smaller than the five by seven box i had so the piece of paper that i use up here i actually made it longer enough to so i can cover all three of them because on here and this bottom i want it flush because then people can stand it down whereas the top i figure i can use i can have it you know 
bumpy or with steps right so i cover the whole thing so it looks nice like that okay so I'd, i hope that's clear but boy it was a little bit trickier to turn this into more like a, a regular card so this is very fancy though don't you think oh my gosh look at that so then um i was gonna make this into like maybe an easel card so that way this can stand and so forth but then it stand funny because the easel card it would stand like this and then this part is showing and it's just weird so at the end um i actually have seen it but i've never done one i decided to make a a double fold z double z fold card um because that means that when it stands and i don't know if you can see it when it stand it actually um still help hold the shape you see how this is like that it doesn't flop out like this or it doesn't fall down because it's very sturdy like that okay so that's exactly what i did i took i did um some card um i actually use my hunky dory blank card stock card not, not a it's a, actually a pre-folded card in the um six by eight size and i just folded the front to half and um and mountain shad mountain valley mountain and that's basically the thing of the z card then you can make a band i made my band i think it was about an, an inch and a half or so yeah an inch and a half and you just do basically the exact dimension of the the card itself and you just fold the first bit the first part of it is the long one so the same length as let's say six and then you fold it three at three and at three and um, glue it together and that's basically it i did three layers um, i was running out of of um, uh, the mirror card i was running out of this you see how i kind of put it together um, here i didn't realize that i have another sheet in another room because i only took one of each sheet in into my craft room in the in my bin next to me everything else is in the other room so um, i didn't realize that so i was piecing it together but it was thank god for that because when i was putting the um the alphabet on it was really helping to have to to have those you see it those layers like a line right anyway okay so that's um, super pretty so i glued this the, the whole thing onto the front one and then i just added the i put uh, foam tape on the present i did a um i layer the um, time to celebrate um, sentiment onto a rounded um, stitch circle then there was another embellishment that i use in the anna griffin flourishing stuff and that makes the the thing stand out more i only put one layer of foam foam pad between this and the bottom so it doesn't stick out too much because it still have to fold um the photo um of my mother-in-law my client's mother-in-law this is taken with all the grandchildren the five grandchildren that she has and it's so lovely this is very recent so i picked a um originally i was going to embellish a lot more but the card is not huge and it doesn't have a lot of space for things but i love this frame this is from from um, crafted companion it's part of their um, nesting frame die called modern swirl i love it so much it's so it's very dainty and just just pretty I did that in the matte gold and then on that same royal blue that embossed um mirror card i use a die called um Ve uh, venetian venetian charm from the heritage die collection from grafters companion as well so it's this one in the middle here um and so forth and that that um, gave that um this part and i picked that one because it was a little bit this have this a little bit wider the, this border here and that allows me to pop it up on on foam on foam dot um so anyway i had to did a little bit of surgery on the photo because the way it was it was really hard to cut out a square because when it was a square there was nothing on the top so actually i i cut i did two pieces two piece of 
a photo and I just cut that part and extend it to the top. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. And then this, um, this embellishment, I love that. She loved roses. I was going to have a lot more, you know, maybe some stuff here, but it just looked too busy. Um, so I just did one simple um, 3D uh, roses here um, on one of the, the tab thing. And um, this is from the mini mini flowers and sentiment or mini sentiment and stickers collection from Anna Griffin. Okay, so that is the card. It's not stunning. I love it so much. She's going to be so surprised because I don't think she would ever expect that we'd be able to customize the card into the exact color she loves and into ballroom dancing and stuff like that. So um, in the back, it's nice and finished already. I put my sticker, but um, I also have to put a, um, where did it go? I had to make sure um, to have place for sentiment. So I did a light blue card so we can actually see the writing and I line it with a, a um, frame of the mirror card. And after they uh, put, um, a runner tape already so after my clients write their sentiment for her i'm i'm going to ask her to go ahead and add it to that I, i'm including just a, a pretty um embellish you know um, gold embellishment and have her put it like that or something like that okay so that way it's com it's finished and complete um and then because it is so thick and big i had to create um a box for it now luckily i had a box that was finished i mean that was already there it was it came my mom gave it to me because she was getting rid of stuff and it's a nice box it was all in lavender um shiny bright foil lavender so i actually just painted over it with an acrylic paint that's just white it doesn't mean to cover it up completely i just wanted to when it show it doesn't show such a bright lavender because it clashes with the pictures and then for the rest of the box i um i lined it with you know just i just cut out white cardstock to um line the bottom i just didn't bother with these top because i just was getting too tired <laughs> i'm done <laughs> anyway it's taking me so long to make this card and i you know you can't charge too much for these um although i do charge a lot but it's not nowhere near the time it takes so we plan to i plan to put this in here just like that when you fold it down it's just perfect in there i'm gonna add this to this so that way i'm gonna present to my with to my clients exactly as she's gonna present it to her mother-in-law because i'm gonna need her to do it like that um because i won't be there you know after she do her sentiment so all i did was i took my rose yellow rose paper cut it to size put it up here i took a blue i, I don't want to to waste my mirror card um royal blue there so i just took a, a blue uh, cardstock i had in my collection that was close enough and i just cut a quarter inch strip um long and just you know miter it and put it on top just to have a nice frame then um, I now I know this blue is not exactly the blue from the inside, but I chose this ribbon because it matches this blue and I didn't want that to clash. So I have this um, beautiful silk um, ribbon. I'm not going to make it too tight because my client is going to have to, um, when you make it tight, you know how it wrinkles a little bit and so on. But we're going to just do a quick nice it's not even going to be a bow because i don't think i need a bow i like i like it like this when with the bow sometimes you can make a bow i guess it's long enough but when you make a bow um it's tend to stick out too much and i actually prefer most of the time when i do my presents so that you don't have to worry about crushing the bows too much i just do it like this and I already fishtail the bottom. And so this is how she's going to present the card to her. I think they have other gifts for her. So um, that's going to be how it goes. All right. 
So that is, so that, of course I made this super loose right now because I wanted my client to be able to, to see the card. She never, she hasn't seen it yet. She's picking it up this afternoon. Um, so anyway, that is my video. I hope you enjoy that. Learn a few um, hacks for, for whatever. And um, please come back and see me. And if you're already subscribing, thank you so much for um oh oh my gosh i forgot to tell you i reach a thousand subscribers yay so i need to get going on my youtube hop and my giveaway um so come back see me soon and enter my giveaway it's gonna be i hope it's gonna be um very nice since i miss my 500k subscriber i mean 500 not 500,000, 500 subscriber. Alrighty, you guys take care. Thank you so much. Um, hi to all my besties on, on my channels that comes back and see me all the time. But you take care and have enjoyed the rest of your weekend. Bye.